Hey guys, today I want to talk about Halo Infinite Cross Core. This was something that was promised to arrive throughout all of Season 2, and so far we've only received the visors for Cross Core customization. Helmets, armor coatings, shoulder pads, literally everything else is not Cross Core just yet. The last Cross Core update came with a drop pod update, and the next drop pod is slated to arrive in December. So the big question right now is are we going to see more Cross Core expansions? After visors, we're supposed to see Cross Core coatings and helmets, and of course, don't get me wrong, plans do change. But still, I think it's really important to bring this to 343's attention because 343 themselves promised a bunch of cross score throughout Season 2. For all of you guys who have not seen this clip in a long time, I'm going to play you a clip where 343 actually discussed cross score rolling out during Season 2. Yes, we did only receive visors during Season 2, but I still think it's really important to highlight what 343 originally said about cross core. We are looking to move away completely from the core system. Um, and what that means for Season 2 is you'll start seeing uh, specifically what I would call in canon cores. So, you know, your Spartan 5 to 7 to, you know, whatever we're doing for Infinite on a canon perspective, uh, we're trying to make that ubiquitous. So if you earn a coding, it's usable across all of those cores, or if you earn a shoulder piece, it's usable across all those core cores. And our focus for season two, not from day one, but as we move through season two, is that your visors, your helmets, your coatings, those will be the first things that we go after. And then we'll slowly try to move everything uh, to be more ubiquitous. It gets a little harder when you take a look at, say, the Yori armor or some of the fracture cores um, because they do have just fundamentally different structures um, that not everything fits in. Uh, and uh, so right now we're really taking a look at the cannon cores and leaving the fracture cores um, to their own right now. Of course, as you guys can see, that was the initial plan and they were only able to deliver on the visors. And I do still think we're going to get the rest of cross core, but clearly it has taken a long time. And the main thing that's taking forever to do are all the armor coatings. Halo Influence armor coatings need to become cross core before anything else. So before we can get any helmets becoming cross core, every single armor coating needs to be cross core because otherwise the helmets just won't work. And it's also important to say that this is only going to be for the cannon cores. So the Tenrai and the entrenched fracture cores will not be cross core, at least for things like helmets or shoulder pads. But this could also be changed. Cross core is still going to be very important for Halo Infinite going forward. Yes, it's a year since launch, but still we need to see the rest of cross core come to the game. Not only is it something 343 promised a long time ago, but it's also just going to allow for so much more freedom and individuality between players' Spartans. So Halo Infinite its December drop pod update is around the corner, just a few weeks away, and I really think we're going to see the next expansion of Cross Core come to the game. With that said, guys, if you're still watching, I really appreciate you. Just want to say that we're getting so damn close to 27,000 subs, so if you want to help your boy out, please do subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. But thanks, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one.